Hi everyone, in this tutorial of code primes, we are going to learn this CSS selector properties. We are going to explain that whole selector property. And here, inside of the CSS selector, have so much of property inside of this and values about it. So, first one is tag selector, and secondary one is class selector. This class selector is basically identified by dot 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 text or anything else. Then, here, the identifier selector identifier is basically identified by the hashtag. And then we're going to explain that this comparison selector is basically work for this greater than less than or equal selector like this and then universal selector it is basically identified by the star so we're going to explain this also and another one last is that is pseudo class selector but this will not explain in this video right now because there have some so much of things about understanding so for the better understanding about pseudo class I'm going to explain that in the next video about it so let's explain that in this video now tag classes identifier and comparison and universal selector so let's start this video right now here here we can say i've opened my vs query studio so let me complete that basic html file just here press that enter button so now here let me write some title about this css selector okay that's it now here first of all we are going to writing some this css tag how we can use that tag in selector there you can see this is one html tag head tag meta tag whatever we have write it inside of this tag this comparison inside of this comparison so this is actually it was a tag so html tag a body tag and this all is a tag so we can use that tag simply i'm just copying that body from here and here i'm just opening in a style file and then here i'm writing this body then we are writing some css for it so let me write some css so here I'm writing the display flex and this is I'm just completing that how to div a center how to center a div so using simply so here I'm using another thing that is flex direction column so that all inside of item will be goes to in column wise so now here let me set some width also about it so it is 100% and there is mean height it's also 100 VAs and then here we need to write them align item center and justify content center so after writing this now let me add a background so let me add a background and here i'm just going to add a background is linear gradient that is 45 degree rotate and it is blue and white now save this file and now we need to reload this in this open with the live server and you can see this is the live preview on our browser this is the live preview and this way you can make a tag selector this is our body tag and we have caught with this body tag and we have write this body tag as a selector we use into our browser and use into our browser here okay now this is we have take that body selector we have successfully set it for the body and this is a tag selector so we have write some css and you can see the live preview now let me add a class so now we are going to using that class selector for class selector you can write simply that div section and then class but this is a shortened way that is whenever you are going to write in some class then first make a dot and then write a class so here i'm writing a boxes classes or anything whatever you want to write it here so let me writing a btn and class name btn and press enter so you can see that this is the class name and btn class selector is completed with the div is a university will be make some gradient here so now let me add some title about it here so here i'm writing this code prime and save this file you can see it was looking like this so now we're going to make some css for this class selector let's copy this class name that is body and under this section here is style file now first of all we're going to provide dot then the btn and then write open this css style that is parenthesis file then this not only the parenthesis it's a curly brushes file so then we have open it now we need to write some css for it so let me write some css i'm going to write in some first of all first 10 pixel padding and 20 pixel okay let me write, make some spaces here and then we're going to write in a background so it is ff and the color also it is black white color you cannot it is white will be not look good so let's make it a black color and save this file you can see it is looking like this now let me increase some font size it is 2rem and save this file you can see it was looking like this so this way we can take a there is you can see that we have taken this class selector now we're going to take some another one that is 
a identifier selector so let me add here another class name that is hashtag identifier hashtag is basically it's for the identifier so first of all identifier that is hashtag then what you want to write so i'm writing here and the one that is identifier i'm writing an id that is i'm writing simply that code prime id and presenter so we have the id that is code prime now here we can write a text here so here i'm writing that is my country name that is bangladesh okay that is bangladesh and save this file now you can see it was looking like this so now we need to copy this identifier from here now let's take it and paste first of all we need to enter hashtag and then copy that id that pasted here now open curly braces and here we need to write this so i'm just copying this css of from here so i'm going to using that same style of it and save this file you can see it was looking like this but here is one issue that is we have a another curly braces just remove it and save this file but there you have one issue that is it was going to insert us in one by one so we need to set some mine for margin for this so let me set some margin and it is i'm going to make it 10 pixel and zero and save this so we have some space properly on it so now here i'm going to adding another one that is a actually that is one that we have there's something like comparison so we're going to using that comparison here okay now for the comparison selector so i just need to copy it from here and i'm just making that comment then save this file you can see here is nothing so now here first of all i need to add another class name that is box and then inside of here i'm just pasting that this two line of html that we have copied now save this file and you can see the output is liking there so now we are going to using that comparison so this is our parent property and this is your children that is class and id we have write it but this comparison is basically work for the parent and children like this way so now here we're just going to just copy paste it here the boxes of our parent that is our parent classes boxes now here we're just going to writing this parent and then we're going to writing this the class name here i'm just copying this this is our children class name and it is dot btn now you can see that children the further parents is always become bigger than children so that's why we have writing here the greater than children parents greater than children so like this way, this is our comparison selector or you can write here this less than or you can write some another one that is equal equal like this is a comparison selector so i'm using that greater than because this is always the true that is because it's parent and it's still then so now here we're going to write some hover on it for the btn so let's write hover and open curly braces now here i'm changing the background color so when we have this hover on it it will be changed the background color it is red and save this file now back to here and whenever we hover on it you can see the background so it is working for this so like this way we can use this selector so you can take directly from here also you can take directly from this identifier also we can if we want to add some more inside of it then also you can take them easily so i'm just going to another demo about it so here i'm just taking this one okay this one i'm just taking inside of it so instead of it okay let me set it first that's it div id this is code prime we have added a id here a class name and inside of it so i'm just taking a break line and here also a break line so this can be properly visible and align and shop easily okay now when we added this inside of this parent children and children children so we have added this parent children and children so it is always a little more smaller than children from the parents so here we're just taking this one and if we save this file you can see it was looking like this we have this already in children background over so now we're going to changing that easily just copy this from here and here we are directly accessing the children children so we are going to directly accessing that id here from this parent to children here instead of this button so we're directly accessing the id here so that's we need to go to here and remove this btn and paste it here and instead of with this code prime before here we just need to add the hashtag now save this file and whenever we hover on it it was nothing is working so you can notice here there is nothing 
so there you have noticed that there is nothing is working whenever we are hovering on it so there is because this property this id it is uncontrol of these boxes because first of all boxes then control about btn then control about this code prime so for that we just need to copy this btn this is the box content and we can directly here just after the boxes and here writing this and we're just going to take access from here okay i have maybe i have got some another one just save this file and hover on it you can see now it is the id was working for perfectly so this way you can select that whatever you want to select it your comparison selector like bigger than which is bigger so you can make them control easily using that comparison selector so now the last part about it so this is so i'm just making them uncomment about it just make it uncomment and save this file so it was liking this so now this is the last one that is universal selector so universal selector is basically work for this of the both of the property whatever we have write it in our pages and website and whatever we write so this is actually it will be control of this total of the pages so now here is style file we are going to write in that universal selector and it is called a star and then open curly braces so now here i'm applying there you can see a default font so here i'm applying this font family and it will be applied for this all of the pages content so let me add a font family and it is i'm going to writing this we are more space not exactly this i'm just going to writing this Arial and save this file now you can see it was applied of the total of the page content so this way you're working for the universal selector and whatever you write for it so this way working all of our css selector property that is for universal selector tag selector and class selector identifier selector and comparison selector and pseudo class selector also available but i'm just going to discuss about this in the next part about this css tutorial video so let's have enjoy about this video and if you have if you have any question about this video you can give me on the comment section below and if you want to get more videos just like this or more tutorials so please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updates from us